Hi guys, these are mater our materials for our science project. So we have yeast over here, an empty bottle for mixing everything, some food coloring, um, measuring cups for measuring, dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and water. Okay. So now we have to add half of a cup of hydrogen peroxide to the bottle. So measuring out half a cup. And here's the bottle. And pour. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna dye our hydrogen peroxide. So we're just gonna make it blue, and then why not mix it green in there? All right, and then oh, we swirl it around, and there you go. All right, now for this step, we have to add one tablespoon of dishwashing soap to the solution. So, here we go. Make sure you get all of it in there. Yep. Now, swirl it around a bit. All right, so what we need now is an, a separate cup, and we need to add an eighth, no, three eighths tablespoon of water to it. So. All right, next, you get, take a yeast packet, open it up, and you just pour all that in there. Make sure it's one tablespoon. It's one tablespoon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was talking about that. Oh. All right. Now, you want to mix it together. Just keep stirring it and swishing it. You want to keep doing that until all of it's dissolved. Do you have a stick? I'm sure you could find one of I them mean, outside. Okay. Okay. And if a spoon is not available, a stick can be used to stir. Mm -hmm. It's like milk. All right, so now it's all dissolved. It looks cool. Okay. And now for the final step of our experiment, we moved all of our um, ingredients away. That way they wouldn't be soaked by this explosive reaction. Okay, now we pour this in. And it oh, here it goes, here it goes. Oh. I move back, Christoph. There we go. Watch out, it's coming. Ah. Sides. There we go. Ah. Just keep going. Look at that foam. Let me zoom in a little more. It's pretty amazing. Um, this reaction couldn't have been achieved without the warm water because there's like uh, an amount of heat that you need for this to happen. Yeah. It's still going. It's pretty impressive. There's no sign of slowing down. The dye makes it look cool. Yeah. So they call this elephant's toothpaste because it looks like the amount of toothpaste that an elephant would need. Still bubbling. Elephants need a lot of toothpaste because they have their tusks. High maintenance. Good one, Chris. Yeah.
Are you sure that goes in there? Yeah, yeah. I think we should use less water. Alright, swirl it. Is that enough? Pretty sure. The materials we use are half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, one tablespoon of dry yeast, three tablespoons of warm water, and about two tablespoons of dishwashing soap. You can add food coloring if you want to make it look cooler, but it's not necessary for the, uh, for the chemical reaction to happen. All right, so first you want to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. For the next step, we put one tablespoon of liquid dish soap in the bottle and mix the solution around by swishing it. Now you want to mix, get a separate cup and mix the warm water and the yeast for 30 seconds and keep swishing it. This will activate the yeast. Next, you mix the yeast with the water for 30 seconds and remove any large lumps of yeast in it. It's like oatmeal. It's because it basically is oatmeal. Oh, yeah, so good. Nice. That's probably good. Quickly add the yeast and water solution to the hydrogen peroxide and dish soap oh solution oh. and watch back and stand That's back and watch the show. Whoa! That's so cool! What's happening? Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is gonna be the reaction for what's happening. So we have right here two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. And on this side of the formula, we have two hydrogen atoms and we have three oxygen atoms. You see how the oxygen atoms are different? So we have to make them balance. So how do we do that? Well, let's draw an image just and see what it looks like. Oh, oops. It's backwards, A. Eh? Oh. H. So this is what it looks like. And you can see that there's the two oxygen atoms, and here's three. But these two are the same. So how do we, how do we make them balance? So we draw another one. And so as you can see now, we have an even number of oxygen atoms. See, one, two, three, four. And on this side of the formula, we have one, two, three, four. Plus sign. And for hydrogen atoms, one, two, three, four. And on this side of the equation, one, two, three, four. So they both are balanced now and they and they make sense. So we have two of these. So we're gonna so we have two hydrogen peroxide. And then we have two water molecules, and the oxygen atoms stay the same. 
So in the experiment, yeast catalyzes the decomposition, which increases the process. The dish show captures the oxygen that's released, which makes foam. And we use yeast instead of potassium iodide because it's more common to find your household or in a local grocery store than, than potassium iodide. You can, you can only get potassium iodide if you get a prescription from a doctor.